What's up, it's your boy Dynas. At the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynasmere.com. Check out our Digitized African Art, Jewelry, Fashion, and Accessories. Also go to searchforhoo.com. Uh, learn more information on documentaries we're shooting. Also contribute towards those documentaries. Last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Search your name, Dynas Mir. Buy a book. I've written several of them. So please buy one. Search your name, Dynas Mir. D-Y-N-A-S-T-A-M-I-R in the search box on Amazon and buy a book. I uh, wanted to shoot this video today. You know, I see a lot of videos of people bragging about their shoe game, their shoe collection, their J's, their Jordans, or whatnot. But I wanted to brag about my Kafitani collection. Or Kafitan, as some people say. Or known as the Shiki, but I'm going to do another video on Dashikis and why I don't use the term Dashiki. I look at Dashikis like Chinese food. Like the, the Chinese food they service here in America, how it's not the real Chinese food. That's how I kind of look at Dashiki. So, you know, just wanted to show you my my Kafitani game, how it's just growing. As you can see, I just got African print just falling from the sky, just everywhere. But my Kafitan game is is on point. Hold on. Let me pull this one out. I know you guys seen this one. And this is courtesy of my boy, Abdu. My boy, Abdu, in Senegal. That's courtesy of him right there. Let me get that one out the way. I'm going to hang this one up right here. Or try to. And then, you know, I got some more. I just got this. My boy Abdul did this one. The flower print or the fruit print. Of course, I got the red ones. I got this one done right here. While I was in Benin. You know, check that one out. Hold on, let me hang this one up right here. Got that done when I was in Benin. <clears throat> hang that one back up. I got the till joints. You pull that out. Hey, I need a bigger closet, y'all. You know, I got the till joint, long sleeve. Your boy, Abdul. Let me hang that up right here. Got some more. That's the that's like the first one that I ever got done a couple years ago. Got the white, the white and the black. My boy Abdul did this one for me too. My boy Abdul in Senegal, he did this one for me as well. Oh, let me let me step over this way. He did that that one for me as well. Hold on. Got the African print. You know. Got some more hanging up. You know, like I said, black, red, lime green, some more of the lime green joints. Right there. Another orange one. Another orange one. My boy Abdul did that one for me as well. Got the all black. Here we go right here. All black joint. My boy Abdul. And all this is handmade. So like the stitching, like this stitching right here. Hold on, let me do it up this way. Oh man, it just fell. Let me pick these back up real quick. So like the stitching, as you can see the design, that's all that's all handmade. That's not a, a patch or iron on patch. That's all handmade. You know, and again, my boy Abdul, he does all of them. Another black one. I got this one. Just got this one done. So a lot of people ask, Dynas, so, like, what's the dress code in certain countries? You know, I, I, would, I would say this. Now, I pretty much wear this anywhere. I, I, you know, I don't. I don't care. But I would say this, like in Senegal, Senegal is more conservative. So I will rock a joint like this in Senegal. Okay? This is this is conservative. Now when I tell my people in Senegal, when I got this done, you know, this one right here. Hold on, let me hang this right here. A little more room to play with. There we go. So Come on, stop spinning. Stop spinning. So 
flavor go. That's better. So, uh, something like this. I'll rock in like Benin, Nigeria, Ghana. You know, especially like in Benin. I was just in Benin and Togo. And they're not really uh, that conservative. You know, you can pretty much wear anything over there when it comes to the print. But in Senegal, this is kind of more cons considered more for females. You know, but in, like I said, Benin, where it's not as conservative, you can wear something like this and get away with it. Or in Togo or in Nigeria. Same thing with this joint right here. Let me hang this one up. I got this print in Senegal. This one right here. Let me hang this one back up. But you know. But again, uh, in Senegal, you know, this is more, you know, again, Senegal is more conservative. So, you know, you could get away with it. But they're more on the conservative side. So you would just rock something more on the lines of this in Senegal. You'll rock something more like that. It's a very conservative kafetan with the handprint, but with, with the, uh, the hand stitching as far as the designs. And they can pretty much do anything you want. I mean, they'll put a, they'll put a design of your face on there if you want to. Like I said, the Senegal, Senegal has the most talented artists I've ever seen. But then, something like this, let me straighten this out a little bit, you know, I'll rock you again in like Benin, um, Nigeria, Togo, Ghana, I'll rock something like this. Again, a little more edgier, not as conservative, but again, but again in Senegal, more conservative, I'll wear something like this. And again, I got some more black ones. Some more white ones. Again, courtesy of my boy Abdul. Here, hang this one up right here. You know, and this is just... You're not going to find African fashion like this. Like I said, I get all my stuff handmade in Africa, in Senegal. Or in Benin, where I got some of them done. And I got another green one right here. And another red one. This is long sleeve. Another green one right there. Check it out. Hot as hell in my closet. I'm just making a mess everywhere now. Another green one. And some black joint. Got the lime green. All this again, handmade. And as you can see, I just got African print everywhere. Just, I mean, all types of stuff I just got. I mean, I got all types of stuff in my closet. So again, people brag about their Jordan game, their shoe game. Me, I brag about my African print game. And it, the thing about it is it's just going to continue to grow. Some of this stuff's for sale. That's in a bag. Maroon joint. I got this right here. I got this when I first went to uh, Tuba. Those are some pants. Yeah, again, like I said, a lot of people brag about their shoe game. Me, personally, I brag about my Cafetan or Dashiki game. So, um, follow me on social media. Search for Uhuru on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. Donnie Samir. Step your African print game up. Step your African fashion game up. I don't think anyone's messing with me. And it's just going to continue to grow. Dinah Samir. Till next time, I'm out.